Right, folks, I have found something new. Just one second, I meant to just do that. Ugh. Uploading a video. So you've got to hear it's all happening, look, with coronavirus hand washing, so you'll see that. Well, if you watch the video before, you'll see it. This is how I live, on the edge. On the bloody edge, folks, on the edge. Anyway, um, where did I go? Oh, when I passed her, that right, and... Um, uh, I was walking around, as you do, and I found these, uh, pot pasta, right? They are part of the uh, pot noodle family. There you go, look, this is the pot noodle thing. For the visually impaired, I'm holding it up that says uh, pot noodle. You can't see because it won't focus. Why won't you focus? You bugger you, that's probably because I'm in the phone. Anyway, um, so... Uh, I picked one up. They did about four or five different flavours. I have picked up pasta beefy bolognese and creamy pasta creamy carbonara. Um, the lid's recyclable. That's good. So what you do, folks, it's just like your normal pot noodle. You just pour the water into the level line. You give it a bit of a mix. So I'm just checking on the uh, video uploading, folks. Do you like pot noodles, folks? Do you like them? Um, I used to like them, then I got a bit bored with them. They never seemed to like really change the flavour. I think I did a, re, um, a review a few months ago about them, and uh, I think I quite liked them. So I was all ready to rip them to bits, but they were quite nice. Um, a little tip. Uh, there's a lad who I have started to watch on YouTube, and I can't remember his name for the life of me. He wears a cap. <sighs> can't remember his name. Anyway, he showed us how to make a pot noodle. I gave him a tip. Don't eat yellow snow. No, it weren't that. It was, uh, when you do a pot noodle, right, all this powder, because it's been um, sat there for God knows how long, um, all the powder builds up at the bottom and it gets hard. Turn the pot noodle upside down, get a tap, right, and all the powder comes to loose. So then it all mixes in. You haven't got like the gunk around the edge of the rim. Because uh, you don't want gunk around your rim. Um, so, what I'm going to do, folks, I'm going to tuck into this uh, creamy carbonara. It Be the cream of the crop. Bring home the bacon. You can make it. www.potnoodle.com Camera's gone off. Oh, bugger. Oh, There we go. Four minutes to go. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll bring that up here. That way I can keep an eye on it, kind of folks. I can just keep wiggling it. Um, yeah, really. I suppose it's a setting, it the way it makes it go a bit longer and stuff, but uh, no. Um, so there you have it, folks. It's uh, take the lid off because um, you don't want uh, foil in your lip, in your teeth, in your fillings. Um, it cost the grand total of one British pound, folks. One British pound. That's what it looks like. Hold on, let me just uh, pick the camera up. For the visually impaired, I'm holding the uh, camera over the uh, pot noodle thing. And um, it just looks like pasta in a pot. Let's tuck in. Let's. Let's tuck in. I might have a bit of crunchy bit there. I don't know if I should have had a crunchy bit or not. Do you know what, folks? That ain't bad at all. I'm wishing I bought some more now for work. For some reason I've got crunchy bits in it. I don't know why, because I'll give it to the five minutes. You're supposed to pour the boiling water into the line and uh, let it sit for five minutes. So that's what I did. And I'm still getting crunchy bits, I don't know. Pa people, if you get crunchy bits in your pasta pot noodle, please let me know. Two minutes to go, folks. That's weird, I keep getting crunchy bits. Why do I keep getting crunchy bits, pot noodle?
Hold on. Let me just mix this beef you want in. I think that's what I've done wrong. I don't think I mixed it when I put the water in. Oh, that one soaked up it all. I'll get onto that one in a minute. I'll just chop a bit of more water in there. I don't, uh... There we go. There we go, folks. There we go. So give that another mush. Right, now back onto this one. This is really tasty. They've done a real good job on the sauce. The sauce is really nice and creamy cheese. You're getting the hint of the bacon. I'm getting a lot of crunch. I think I've screwed up there, folks. I don't think that's nothing to do with pot noodle. I think it's because I'm an imbecile. Mmm. That is really good. I'm really, really impressed with that. I've had some of these things before. Uh, different companies obviously and I've never been really impressed they've always just seemed to be lacking in that little bit extra but these are bloody good so I just want to say a quick hello to uh, Chris at work who's um, he's had a bit of an accident with the Audi yeah, I um, hope it's all uh, all good, and I hope you didn't take it out on the wife too much. All right, mate. Mm. Get some of these down you, Chris. Get these pot noodles down you. Mm. That is a really, really good creamy sauce. That is just... It's just... Mmm, <laughs> bits of bacon. Mmm. Nice smoky bits of bacon. Obviously it's not vegetarian friendly. Mm. I honestly can't fault that. That was really, really good. If you're at work and you've got a microwave, well you ain't got a microwave, you just need a kettle. Get yourself one of these. Right, let's move on to the spag bol, um, or the beefy bolognese. I do love bolognese. We in this household do do good bolognese. Um, I just want to ask you a question, folks. Mmm, um, a bit more bacon. Very nice. Um, do you like my cooking videos? Because uh, I've got a couple of other things that are lined up to cook. Um, I'm going to do my version of a cheese pie. So, if you like my cooking, put it down in the bottom. Put, uh, in the comments below, put June, let BBM cook. Yeah, cool. Um, right, let's get a gob full of this pasta, uh, beefy bolognese. Let's uh, tuck in. Right folks, just one second. That ain't as good as that. The creamy carbonara is a lot, lot better. Hold on folks, I'm just uh, public. Uh, publish. You coughing at you stupid dog, I told you to stop smoking. Right, just put it on Twitter folks. So now, that's it. You all know, no. You have all been part of the uploading experience of the BVM. Give it a quick, uh, give it a quick uh, refresh. Can I have a refresh? Uh, restrictions none. Right. Just one second, folks. Right, there we go. It's up and running. So. It's not as beefy as I thought it was going to be. It needs an oxo or something in there. Mm. Mm. 
this one second folks another second I sound like Pete at work just a quick one Pete at work if he's ever got anything to say or anything like just a quick one big lad right crawl space um, he wants me to say hello to his stunning girlfriend Fiona um, Say hello to my girlfriend. She is stunning. I would like to see Fiona and let's see if she is stunning, my old lad. Um, but there you go. Adam Crawl F7. Uh, crawl Space. So uh, there you go. Happy, bir uh, happy birthday. What the bloody hell's that? What's that video I'm just uploading? Um, yes, folks. Uh, it's not as good. It's, it's not. I don't know where they've got the beefy bit from. Because there's not a lot of beef in there. It's mainly herbs. Um, tear here. What's this say? What's this? Tear here. Oh, is that the way it shows you? Oh, where's bloody... Oh, God. What's up with this... Ginger one. Um, yeah, it's more herby. There's not a lot of beefy taste into it. In fact, I'm quite disappointed in this one because that carbonara was absolutely stunning. Yeah, if you're in the actual, if you do buy these and you're choosing, you're going 50-50 on your pound. Um, right, I'm going to do something here, folks. Let's have a look at the comments coming through. Uh, Dutch Creek Cabin. Love you, mate. Glad you are staying safe. Hi, June. Uh, I wish June would get high. Uh, Indoble. Come on, you Spurs, I think that is. I'm not sure. Uh, I've got it, lads. Um, I've got it. I see what you mean. Uh, oh, right. Savannah Quinn, stick to the food reviews, mate. You're good at those. You're not good at giving advice. Leave that to smart people. Well, the thing is, uh, Savannah, um, if I get people to wash their hands and help prevent the spread, then I've done a job. What have you done, Savannah Quinn? Uh, Aaron Fernandez, he says, stunning, learning new things every day. Danny editing, haven't washed my hands in 20 years. Thanks so much for teaching me, mate. That's all right, Danny. Uh, L2 Hawk, love it, mate. Keeping the Leicester lads safe. Uh, safety is number one priority, Dave. Thank you. Cornivia virus, I want to keep calling it Cornivius, but it's not. Coronavirus is no more, thanks to Blue Van Man from Calm. Calm Q12. Uh, so I'll just leave that there. I just thought I'd do a nice little extra, folks, for you. Yeah, it's a bit herby, folks. I won't bother with it. I'll still demolish it, though. Fork to it for the pot. Uh, yeah, so get yourself down to wherever these are sold. Um, they're okay, there's a few other flavours, I weren't going to buy all five or six of them just because of the sake of that, because it would have just been stupid uh, sitting here eating these. June's doing a chicken curry tonight and I want to wanted it. Uh, Alright folks, laters.